Hello there, good friends of YouTube. This is um, a setup of the ZVS uh, driver, which is going through, uh, which is coming from my Variac. Now I'm going to show you what is happening. Right, that there's the output, and it goes around, comes here, goes around. I don't feel that capacitor because it's uh, into the rectifier. Through that capacitor, through that capacitor, and then goes through into my ZVS driver and then from my ZVS driver into that flyback and the flyback goes to these two um, spark gaps but I'm not using this at the moment because I've got it going f I've got uh, high voltage wires which go onto the uh, Jacob's ladder I can't say it then and I've got it coming from my Variac I was thinking to myself have I got a bigger Transformer, you know, is this something I can use, which uh, you know, which will basically give me bigger arcs, wider arcs, you know? And I thought, hold on a minute, I've got a Variac sitting in my bench. Why not just rig it up to that? There's a bit of um, AC noise coming through the system, but um, it just adds a bit more to the effect. <coughs> it does. So I've had a bit of a tidy around. Uh, yes, yeah, look at that. That's from Sparkfish. A friend of mine who's uh, I've subscribed to uh, each other and uh, Sparkfish gave me that lovely oscilloscope. So thank you very much, my friend. Isn't it looking very nice up there? I've uh, put myself a bracket up and put this on. Start sturdy as a rock on there. So uh, I've got another bit of equipment. So. Plus, I want to say to all my friends um, who have subscribed to me, um, I thank you all for uh, all your very kind comments. Um, it's it's great to have support from you guys. Um, you know, giving me tips here and there, and uh, I just want to say thank you very much, guys. You're uh, you're all fantastic, and uh, hope to bring so you know more uh, entertainment to you guys in the future. Thanks. So I just wanted to say that to you guys. So anyway. Let's get this going. What I need for this really, I need a light on, basically there, just to say that my Variax on, because I keep, I've got it going through that, you see, and I switch that off, and sometimes I'm thinking, is this on? And, and you know, and I, I, I need a light, so I'm going to have to rig a light up to let me know when this is on, because the only time I know when this is on is when I turn, when I turn the dial, and this light comes on. So that's from me of the 3 amp, which is there, which I burnt out, which I'm still trying to repair. But anyway, let's uh, crank this up and let's let's show you some marks. There we go. Oh, not one second. That's a bit. It's a bit loose. See that glue on the top of there? The glue's starting to melt. But there you go. I need uh, to uh, mess around with the capacitors because I don't think the capacitors can be compatible with the uh, the high voltages. I mean, I'd, I just knocked it up to 45 there, 45 volts from the old Variac. So what I need to do: uh, change the uh, capacitor because if I change the capacitor and try try different value capacitors, I should be able to get a better. Um, arc for that uh, for that amount of voltage going into it because I mean I've had bigger arcs than that I mean even on my my last um, account which was um, Black Mesa 2.5 if I remember rightly I had um, 30 volts going through it and I was getting massive arcs jumping if any of you um, remember my last account 
with that video that I had, I had massive arcs jumping from one to the other and it was quite quite a substantial arc that I was getting out of it for 30 volts so give me a bit more time and I mess around with it and I'll update you on the video so look after yourself guys, take care of yourselves, uh, you know be safe and we'll speak again